All right, welcome back. Well, if you're looking for cold drinks and good appetizers, one wine and beer shop could be your best bet. We'll introduce you to the owners, or we will do that now. I should say we like to spotlight new businesses, and uh, we are being joined by some uh, folks right here now from yes. Brandywine. That's how you call it, right? That's it, yes. yeah. This is Caitlin and John joining us. So just tell us a little bit uh, about your shop. Um, well, we're located in the northwest neighborhood of Spokane, Washington. Um, we are serving wine, beer. We also have a really great bottle shop. It's right there, so you can bring your beer and shop for wine, which is really a nice uh, experience. We also have um, five appetizers just to kind of round out the menu, and it's been uh, a real adventure this last month, mm -hmm. opening up. So why did you guys want to kind of start this business? Well, um, <laughs> we, we kind of wanted, uh, we live in the Audubon neighborhood we have for the last three years since uh, the fall of 2015, and uh, we wanted a place that stayed open past 7 o'clock, really, <laughs> Good. in the, in, in the <laughs> nice neighborhood. Uh, and our interests uh, professionally over the last uh, seven or eight years since we graduated wow. college have been kind of involved in the beverage and food industry, so we wanted to see that place in our neighborhood and decided, why don't we be that? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's actually been really um, kind of magical watching uh, neighbors walk in to mm -hmm. our establishment. Um, they are like meeting each other across the bar. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, I've seen you walking your dog. I'm Joanne, by the way. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and just- Let's have a beer or wine. Exactly, exactly, and really connecting, and that's been really cool. Now, you know, with, with a kind of place like you guys have, um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, focus on really specialty, unique beers, wines, that sort of things, things you might not be able to get elsewhere. Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, At a good price point. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and cool, cool yeah. environment. Food-wise, what are some specialties? Um, well, we're really traveling around the world with the food. And so, um, you know, we have a bruschetta, kind of Italian-inspired. We've got um, charcuterie from Glondos and Clay Alum. Um, we love we love them. They're super. Uh, use Washington beef and all of that. We'd love that. Um, but then also we have our mezzi platter, which is not a true mezzi platter. It's hummus, which is is traditional. Um, we have an Italian yogurt dip, or not Italian, sorry, Indian yogurt dip, and then we have um, a Lebanese salad mm -hmm. all on there. So just kind of letting you wander the world from Spokane. Nice, that mm -hmm. all sounds great. Try all and the flavors. You guys brought, uh, is this from your beer and wine club that you yes. mentioned? That's mm -hmm. right. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, so when you join our beer club, you get four beers every month. You also get an adorable grunt, yeah. which is really we fun. We like those. Um, and then we actually have kind of a choose your own adventure wine program. So um, we have a $15 white, $15 red, $30 white, and $30 red, and you can really ch mix and match and choose what you're interested in. Um, and then, I mean, just here we have an Italian white, um, a French white, and then our reds are uh, South African and um, Portuguese. Portuguese. Mm -hmm. So really trying to kind of expand and let people try new things, try new flavors. You guys are working on your, your sommeliers as well, so yes. you, got, you got your knowledge. <laughs> Well, again, that was Caitlin and John from Brandywine. Go check them out. We appreciate you guys coming in. We're going to go to a quick commercial break right now. Stay with us.